Yo, we got this trippy music video effect where the face slides off and there's a static face underneath it. I did something like this in the Stranger music video and I've been seeing a lot more like it in a lot of videos recently. So yeah, uh, there's a free static overlay in the description below if you don't have a static overlay. If you have Red Giant Universe, you can use the VHS effect and make your own and I'll show you how to do that too, just so you don't have to download this. Alright, uh, like and subscribe, do all the good stuff, and give me a suggestion of what you want to see next, because I'm really running out of, out of ideas. So let's. Okay, so we're in Premiere, and we have our clip right here. First thing you want to do is right-click this, your clip, replace with After Effects Composition. We're going to do this in After Effects, because Premiere is just going to be terrible. It's be pretty fast in After Effects. Alright, so if you downloaded the thing I told you to download, it's just an overlay, just like this, and all you have to do is put it underneath your clip but I'm going to show you how to make one in case you don't want to do it but you're gonna need Red Giant Universe plugin okay so first of all let's take his face off so to take his face off I'm just gonna click up here to this little rectangle tool here let me exit that this little rectangle tool and then just hold like click and hold and then this will pop up and then click the ellipse tool and then all you want to do is make sure your cursor is in the front and then you just want to make ellipse around his face. And then on your tracker tab right here, if you don't see this, just go to window and tracker. Well, on your tracker tab, click on this method right here. And then just do face tracking outline. You don't need the detailed feature. Just do that. And then click that little play button. And then now it'll go all the way around his face. And then you're good to go. Now you have a fine face. So to make it so his face comes off is you just want to click on your layer right here press control D go into the bottom layer and then open up the mask so I just press M and then this right here where it says add just press subtract and then now it, it'll look normal but then it'll be all fine so I'm gonna hide the top layer so we don't see it now we don't have a face right now we're gonna need the static so I said I'm gonna show you how to make it so I'm just gonna right click new solid click ok drag that to the bottom now his face there's nothing there All right i'm going to go to the vhs plugin from red giant universe drag that onto the black solid and then all you have to do is right here where it says standard vhs just click uh blink tape and then now you have a static face now this mask is too harsh for me so i'm just going to feather it a little bit i'm going to click m again on the middle clip right on the feather I'm going to make it 10 and then we'll have what we're looking for right here all right so now what we need to do is we need to animate the face moving away so if I unhide the face layer you can see that little outline that his face isn't there and that's fine so this top layer what we're gonna do is just we're gonna highlight it press P on our keyboard for position keyframe the first position because it's gonna start where his face should be and in the middle it's gonna we're gonna move it to the left or right just a little bit like this so it looks like it's moving away and then at the end we're just gonna move it back to 960 because that was the original so now if you look at it okay now if you look at it his face comes off now if you want to change the color of the static what I like to do is I like to just look at tint this would work if you have the overlay too you look up tint drag it onto the black solid if you made it yourself make sure it's under the VHS layer and you see this map white too you can just change it to any color so we'll do this and then now you will have pink static or if you want to go crazy you can map the black to white and then he'll have pink static or map the you know just play with the colors and it'll look crazy right and then so let's go back into our premiere so here's our premiere right we'll have the face effect now what you want to do is this will have a this will be pink usually because it's still a linked comp to after effects what i like to do is i like to render render and replace so right click render and replace click ok and then this if you have a lot of these in your project file this will help your project file not like die and rendering right so I used to have I usually have a lot of these and then rendering takes so long but if you render and replace it it'll it won't be that long but let's say if you mess up right and you want to change it like say you don't really like the color 
you can just right click on it again and restore unrendered go after go back to after effects and say we'll change the color again yeah like that go back and then it'll change the color and then all you have to do is render and replace again that's basically it thanks so much for watching like and comment a lot appreciate it later okay vegas pro 16 so since we're in vegas pro 16 there's this new tool called the audio bezier tool or the bezier masking tool sorry and it pretty much is kind of like a copycat of after effects and kind of masks everything by itself but i couldn't get it to work so we're just gonna have to go the old route and just do it by hand which is pretty much a reason why i switched to after effects in the first place is because i didn't want to do it by hand and i just want to click a button but you know not everyone has after effects i get it blah blah, blah. so we're just going to do it the old way so I have my clip here that we're going to use. It's a different clip I used before. And then we have the static that is in the link down in the description. But if you don't want to download that, all you need is Universe VHS and I'll show you how to make your own. So we'll start with our first uh, thing we need to do is we need to go to our clip and we just need to mask it. So click this little pan and crop button right here. Go to the mask, make sure your cursor's at the uh, at the left all the way to the left make sure this is selected and then you just want to create a mask around his face so let me see if I can move this around okay and create a mask around his face now we're gonna feather this a bunch so it's not that crazy but okay and then you guys know how to mask so I'm gonna make this clean this up by feathering it I'm gonna click both and then feather just make that a little bit like that okay and then now I'm gonna go about a fourth of the way I mean I'm gonna select all of my mask which I pretty much just did right there and I'm just gonna move it to his face a little bit right here now I'm gonna go about halfway and then just move the mask to his face and then you can adjust it so you see it's not all around his face but the After Effects version doesn't even get the whole face so I'm just gonna keep it like this but if you if you want and just get to get the whole face and head um, you're just gonna have to adjust it manually like this and move each keyframe but I really don't want to do that so yeah so I'm, now I'm gonna go three-fourths of the way make sure my mask is selected and I'm just gonna select the mask now the mask isn't selected so I'm just gonna right click select all and there we go and then I'll just move that here now it's getting kind of outside of his face so now I kinda have to move it manually just a little bit like that just so it's acceptable to see there you go and then now I'm gonna I'm gonna go into the end and then move it once again so right click select all move it and then now we're really gonna have to adjust it because it's too far off to say that it was done on purpose and Take your time on this, make sure it looks nice, like I say in all my mask videos, which is pretty much all of them. Blah blah blah. Make sure it looks nice right here. Make sure you're looking over here and not in here. Since the feather we added is changing it a bit. Okay. Alright, so now if you look, we should have a floating head. Right like this. So now it's pretty much easy after this. So we're gonna hold control. We're gonna click on our clip and drag down. Or to the side and then it'll duplicate our clip with the same mask now we're gonna right click on our timeline right next right on an empty spot insert a video track now we're gonna drag either either or clip on top of each other now the bottom clip you're gonna want to select that go to the event pan and crop now on this mask with the so few keyframes I did you can just highlight them all by holding shift and then just clicking on all of them and then now in mode, on it where it says positive, just change that to negative. Now it should be different. Now what we want to do is we have this. We can insert a new video track. So I'm going to right click again, insert a new video track, drag this up to so the two clips are touching each other, and then drag the overlay underneath it. Now it should look like this, and this is pretty much our clip. Now I'm going to Oh, you see, like I messed up because I didn't select on mask. So make sure if this happens to you, you just go back into the pan and crop on the bottom clip, 
go back to each keyframe and then just make sure they're negative. So I'm going to go to each keyframe and make sure it's negative. Good thing I only used about five keyframes, so I didn't have to use all of them. Okay, so it's all they're all negative, and that's kind of what we're looking for. Now I'm going to just pretty much finish the effect off. So we're going to need to select our top clip, go back to pan crop, but instead of the mask portion, we're going to use the position portion. The first keyframe is already keyframe for you, so you don't need to worry about that. I'm just going to go to the last keyframe by selecting the last frame of here. Maybe even over here, just like that. And I'm just going to make another keyframe by clicking this little keyframe button. So it doesn't have to do anything. Now, I'm going to go to the middle, which is roughly about here. And I'm going to drag this either to the left or to the right, up and down, wherever I want to go just like that and so now if you look at the whole clip his face will move and it will move back so let me make this smaller like that and it's something it doesn't look that pretty but if you, I guess if you want it to look nicer you can not feather the mask at all but it's gonna look really rugged and you're gonna have to really pay attention to the details and go frame by frame and make sure all of the mask is selected as in all of his face and all of your lines look straight and let's see that what that did see it'll look like that and even then i messed up with this fast tutorial that the mask doesn't even look nice yep all right and i told you i will show you how to create this static effect if you don't want to download it all you need is universe vhs plugins which a lot of you already have already just go to your media, media generators um you can drag anything so i'm just going to drag this checkerboard click OK. You're going to want to go to your video effects. You're going to want to look up VHS. Then Universe VHS will, will be right here. Drag that onto the tracker board. This will pop up and then all you want to do here is preset user defined. Um, we're going to do blank tape. It'll come up like this. Oh, that's a bad. User defined B. Where is it? Blank tape. Did I select the right one? And then right here, four thirds, make that original. And look, you guys have a huge different color. I'm going to click VHS because it doesn't look... Yeah. And so now if you look, you have your own static overlay. And then we just drag that underneath. And then it'll be different. Now if you want to change the color of the static overlay, what I normally do is I don't use Vegas, but let me see if this is it. You can use Sapphire Tint and then Sapphire Tint will come up. Drag the default on. And then Tint Lights put me this white you see all this white right here is going to change to red if I change it to red hopefully my Vegas didn't crash there we go and now he's red and you can change the black to whatever you want let's say white oh, that's a little bit too dark change the black to blue and then he gets these crazy static colors changing like that yeah that's basically it for this tutorial like and subscribe and comment dislike and give me Give me suggestions because I'm really running out of ideas. All right, peace out later.